Hi guys, Dave here from Gamefruit. Today I'm going to show you how to make a background image um, for your platform game that will follow you around and act as a backdrop. So, I've got this game that I've built here, really basic. Um, it's just got some terrain and it's got a character that can run around. Um, now I want to make the game look a bit more interesting, so I'm going to find uh, an image that I've drawn earlier. I'm going to upload it to Gamefruit. Um, so I want to go to Assets, and I want to um, open a pack or create a new pack. Um, I've got a pack here that I created earlier for my character. Um, now I'm going to go Add New Asset, and I'm going to add it as a game object. And I want to click Add Files to browse to my image. Um, here it is. This is the background image that I'm going to use. I'm going to click open and then it should upload to the pack. And when that's done I can click done. It'll go green when it's done. There we go, done, and that should appear in here in a couple of seconds. And I need to make sure the pack that I've chosen is ticked so that it, so that the assets show up in the sidebar here. Um, so I can close that now, and if I go to game objects in the sidebar, and I scroll down, there's my image. Now I want to click on it, and then I can place it in my game. If I place it on this current layer that's selected, it's going to go in front of everything, which looks really bad. So I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go delete. I'm going to make a new layer. So I'm just going to click on that plus and go a new layer. And I'll rename it to, if I double click on it, I can rename it to background. I'm going to drag it underneath the other layers. So then it will act as a background. It's behind everything. Um, now. If I play my game as it is, the background is just going to stay in that part of the level. It won't follow me around. So what I need to do is right click on this and go add script. So this is to give it some instructions. Um, there are really just two main things that we need to do. One is to tell it to follow the camera and the other is to disable its physics so that it's not bumping into things. So if we go, uh, the two events that we want to use are when created and constantly. So when created is to disable the physics, so that happens straight away. So under physics we want to go to set enabled, this is for physics, that means set physics enabled to false, so it's not going to bump into anything or cause us any problems. Um, we also want to get a constantly loop going so we can constantly be checking where the camera is and moving the background to that location. Um, we want to go set X position and set Y position. Those are under transform. So I'm going to go set X position of myself and I can duplicate that block and change that to Y. So we're setting the X and Y position of the background not to zero, so get rid of those zeros, but to whatever the X and Y location of the camera is. That's under looks. Um, if we scroll down a bit, camera X, that's what we want to grab. And we can uh, get camera Y there as well. Um, I think that's all we need for the background. We call that background. And you can do this with any sized image. You want to make sure generally it's the right size as, as the game. Um, now if I hit play, the background should automatically align to where the camera is. Okay. 
and there we go. Now, <laughs> I've I made this uh, the script for this character um, a little while ago. It's not the best. I might just replace the script with a better one. So the background's all good. I'll make some more terrain here as well, just so you can actually see the uh, background follow us along as we continue to move around. Ah, okay, there's, a, there's another thing to notice, that when you move, because of the constantly block that we've used, there's a little bit of a jitter, there's a little bit of lag in when the background is following you, and it gives you this tiny little bit of white on the side. So what we can do is we can go in and change that constantly block to post constantly. So if we right click on our background image and edit that script and we click on constantly here, change that to post constantly, this will make sure it calculates everything else, and then after it's done all that calculation, it will um, render the um, position of the background, which will look much nicer. So let's check that out again. There we go, and now if I move left and right really fast, you don't see that um, jarring, lagging happening anymore, which is great. Um, that's about it, that's how to make your own background and get it working in Gamefruit. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to hit us up, um, check out our Facebook at facebook.com slash Gamefruit. Um, our Twitter is at Gamefruit. That's uh, G-A-M-E-F-R-O-O-T and you can email me if you have any questions uh, dave at gamefruit.com thanks guys